Alrighty, well, welcome back to Let's Play Pandora's Tower. Last time, we defeated the fourth master, master of the Crimson Keep. And today, we will be moving on to the fifth tower. So, before we do that, I should actually check my trunk. Because I know I have some stuff to deposit. Okay, we have to do the donation order. Dry bay, I'll keep it, I'll repair it and gift it to Alina. Oil, lump of metal can be deposited that's okay we don't really need the permafrost anymore S well for now at least so I'll just oops sorry can't do that if it's equipped no it's I'm not now it's not equipped anymore okay and I think we're fine I don't want to deposit anything else all right then so I'll repair the dry berry immediately so let me just call my the repair there you go I was repaired and maybe I should probably deposit it. Because maybe there are others, I don't know. Uh, just there in the trunk. And let's talk to Alina before I go off. Thank you for everything, Aaron. Alright, Chains of Destiny, new dialogue here. It seems the Vestra used to be revered throughout Illyria for their mysterious powers. I wonder what happened to reduce them to living like this. I don't know. Let's see how many of those we have. Um, they're under here, I think. Yeah, this one. Good as a gift. I think I haven't done this yet. Let me do... Let me give us a gift. Um, the medicinal moss. I don't think I've done this yet. Is this for me? No, I've done it. Okay. That's just a waste. Ah, oh, whatever. It's not like we're all gonna need that a lot. Alright, so let's sleep for... Nine hours, we want to enter 15 here. That's where the raid item spawns. Alina's at the table. We'll see if she has some other new dialogues for us. That's bound to give me affinity. Yep. That song. What song? I still enjoy singing. It's just, I don't think my heart's in it anymore. I mean, I like it. It's everything yeah, we got my washing machine going. I can hear it. There we go, that's better, I closed the door. I can hear my washing machine in the background, it, it just... It's over the sound of the game, I cannot really hear the game with it going on. Alright, okay, Affinity. And more Affinity, yay. Yeah, I'll retreat. I have my shards. My shards of... thing. Shards of Divinity. Anyway, we're ready and set. Let's do this. For today's tower, I actually went through it earlier today. Because it can be pretty confusing. So I thought it would be a good idea to check it out before actually recording this episode. Alright, I'm just gonna... I think I'll skip this. Yeah, we've seen this a bunch of times. It's always the same. So to, to skip cuts, you just press A and then plus. I'm prompted like that. We're just gonna skip ahead. Welcome to the Hyron Club Turret. Here we are, and as we can see from this. Statue here, we have three chains today. It appears to be one of the gods of Aeos. He bears chain, a symbol of metal. Metal is the theme of this tower. So there is a door over there, but it's closed off, so we're gonna start from here. Okay, so new enemies over here. These guys have no idea what they are called, but they're good source for tough scales. So you can just, I usually either throw them around or whip them. Throwing them is also effective. Oh, you can also attack them. Um. Tough scale, yay. When you attack them on the ground, you usually get a tough scale out of them. Which again is pretty important for our twin blades. Copper coins we got here and that's it. Okay, let's move on. Let's see, anything else over here? No. We're about to get the introduction of the basic mechanic behind this tower. There it is. Okay, so we break this box, there's a text here. 
Using the lift, use the connected switches to get lifts to function. To change the path of the lift, adjust the track switch, checking that you have selected the desired path before moving. Caution, do not suspend any object from the lift using during use as these may collide with the walls. Yeah, whatever, we just do that and then we can chain ourselves up to these... I don't even know what you're calling them. They're called lifts, but they're not really that lifts. They're, I don't know what they are. Oh well. And we can use them to travel around the place. This is the reduction of a new enemy, but it works exactly the same of another enemy we saw back in the previous two towers. Again, take away the armor on, a, on their head, and then they will just... Just uh, target the head and let them have it. Unfortunately, the other one is a dick and will join us and will try to do shit to us. Ow, I didn't think it had that much range. Alright, fine then. Do that and we're just gonna do this. Hopefully the first one will die quickly. They can also spin around their weapon like that, which sucks. Because when they do that, it's impossible to target them. And you have to wait out. The way that they stop, which is sucks again in this game. The whole one is off screen. He can attack me from off screen, which I hope he won't do. But these guys are pretty powerful. Uh, you do that. You do that waste your time. I'll get your friend. One of them is not a problem, two of them are a pain. Because they can interrupt each other. I mean they can they can interrupt you attacking the other one. Which sucks. Take away the armor. Alright, this one I will use a combination of chain and weapon. Try to get things done a little faster here. There we go, that's how you do it. If I can target your your there you go. Oh, I did target them. There you go. Take some damage over there. Pull the chain a little bit. And then There you go, see? Easy enough. When there's only one of them, they go down real fast. Gunpowder. What else do we have here? More coins. And here, we have another interesting item. That's a military shite. That's a new weapon, but I'm not going to equip it. And I will explain why later on we'll have more time. For now, we'll just move on because there's a lot of things to do here. With three chain doors to find. We cannot afford to just hang around doing the explanation and whatnot. Alright, here we are. Here we are. We have a few boxes over here. And there's another one here. There we go. So, again, there are these handles. Pull this. And they'll start moving. Uh, but they're, it, this one's going this way. Alright, let's pull this one too. This which is the path. So now we can hang up to here. And let these things bring us to the first saint door. It's just that. Watch the shadow to see if you're doing things correctly. There's an oil up here every time you come through this tower. And we have our first saint door. There we go. Let's get these boxes over here. And I think I'll change the path again. So this will move forward, but I'll do that later. For now... We got an Abyssinga, that's pretty rare. That's material. I wonder how Alina is coping at this moment. Aaron. Still no sign of him. Oh. What am I playing at? Pull yourself together. Yeah, apparently Alina doesn't realize that we just barely left the observatory and she's like, oh my god, he's not coming back. Where is he? Dude, we just left. We just left like five minutes ago. Anyway, over here there's another episode. Good. Pretty nice stuff. Right now we won't need them, but later on we will for later upgrades of the weapons. Alright, nice shortcut over here, and we have to switch this again quickly before that one passes by. And then we can get this guy, this handle to bring us to the next door. 
And again, more of these guys, unfortunately, we'll have to defeat them because they will be in our way if we don't take away their armor. Okay. And if I can grab you, that'll be great. See if I can bring this guy out of reach from the other. Apparently, I can't. So, a great way to deal with two of these guys is to use the... The property of the chain that you can damage both enemies in one shot. So I'll take the armor off of you. Then I'll do that. I'll wait for the other one to turn around. And I'll chain both of you. And of course, always concentrate on one of them. Because when one is down, the other one is trivial. Okay, you do that. I'm not doing that. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, think you can get me? I don't think so. Take some. See if I can defeat this guy. Alright, that's down. Unfortunately, that's bad. That's a bad angle. I got flesh anyway. Nice. We have a 500 uh, for flesh rewards here. Which is great. Because these monsters are very likely to give you dripping flesh, which is worth 50. So, 10 pieces of those. Why? Stop targeting the freaking arm! I can see the the head is lighting up. There we go. It wasn't that hard. Well, let's do a combo here. We'll do that, and then with we'll a swirl on him, and he's down. Give me the flash. Thank you. Pulsating. Yeah, that's nice. And sometimes they even drops pulsating. They never drop beast flash, so it's either fifty or or a hundred. Which is awesome. Nothing over here. Alright then. Let me just pause for a second here. Let me see how I'm doing right now. Okay, that's 250. We don't even need to get a pulsating flash to Alina for for the boss. It's, we don't really need that much time. So what do we have up here? Just the stairs. Just a long set of stairs. I need to waste our time. So over here, there's another door, but that's locked. So we're just gonna go over here for now. And if that looks comp doesn't look complicated to you, you haven't seen Tower 10. I mean, if that does look complicated to you, you haven't seen Tower 10. Tower 10 is very similar to this one. But it's much more complicated. You have no idea until you tried it. Alright, first of all, I want to run a loop around the room here. Break all the boxes. See what we can find. Then we'll start doing what we need to do. We can examine this? The giant, this giant mechanism seems to be stopped at present. There is oil here? Not mercury. That's even better. Alright, there is a chest there. Let me just grab it. I think there's just more materials in here. That's an readable old note, okay. Okay, I've run around the whole room. Took everything I could to take, so I'm good. So first thing you first, climb up this ladder. There should be a lever around here. There it is. Pull this, le pull this lever. That will activate the whole tower. And now the big pistons on the wall will start moving. Which is another gimmick of the tower. There will be these pistons that go through the walls, and you have to use them as platforms. Over here we have the Fang Bomb, and down here... We find the locked door that I mentioned before, and there's even a healing spring. I'll take the, the healing spring, why not? Recover a little bit of health, and get some oil. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm alright. All right now, we have to find out the locked door here, which is in front of us. There it is. Okay, and so there are some of these little enemies here. I'll take care of them real quickly. This is the room where you can find the special item of the tower, and I can already see one. That's a lump of metal. That's the special item of the tower. We've seen lump of metal already, but... In these tower, this tower, since we are, well, the team is metal, you can find loads of them. So this little guy I'll kill because 
It has the purple mist, that means it's gonna give me a bunch of experience. And no further, okay, I'll take that. So first of all, I will explore the entirety of this room on the ground floor. See if we can find other lumps of metal. Always look around with a zoom out view. And over there, there's some resin I think that is. I'm not entirely sure what it, what it is, but it blocks pistons. And those pistons will not move if they're blocked. And since you might need them for later, might as well free them. Like this one, for example. We're not able to pass through here until we break this. So there's another lump of metal there. Good. Threadberry. And break these boxes as well. I usually break this with a chain because you can do that with two shots. It's really easy. You can just wait for him to get out of there. And yeah, there's always a lump of metal around here. And there's one more here. Yay! And that's the chain door number two. And chain door number three is not far away from here, believe it or not. Nice. Nothing there. Anything over here? Nope, probably this is empty. Let's get out of here. I have no idea what happens if you get squashed by these pistons. It never happened to me. And I don't want to find out. So you activate this lever that creates a shortcut for the beginning of, of the tower, which is very handy indeed. Over here, it's, yeah, this is where we need to go. Let's grab this. See what it brings us. Okay, we drop down here, right? We wait for this piston to come out. Unfortunately, there's a lot of waiting in this tower, which sucks. But that's how it is. No, I don't want to grab that. I think I just want to go up here. Yeah, change the curse of the things. And then grab one of them. Brings me even higher. Now, there's nothing over there, but there's some resin there I can break. Uh, but I'm not hanging off, am I? Whoa, 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 that was close. I need to grab one of these. There we go, now I can break this. There it goes. Okay, that frees that piston. By the way, you can tell when pistons are about to retract, because they kind of make... They make them... They kind of start making that movement, and then they do it. They kind of go like this, uh, and then they retreat. So you can't tell where they're about to do that. Alright then, here we go. And there it is, chain door number three. Told you it was it was real nearby. And with that, we already opened the way the way. We didn't really open the way to the boss, but we opened the door to the boss. Now opening the way to the boss, it's another story. But technically we could already go there. But I'll try to make the shortcut. What's that? Everything got nice. We'll try to make the shortcut. So that when we will do it next time, we'll have a clear path to it. I think I, I don't have to do anything else here. Oh crap, there's another one of those. Uh, this time I'll just I won't bother attacking him. What I wanna do is go up here. There might be some other things that I need to do. Again, there might be pistons that need to be freed. Yeah, there's two of them there. There, one of them. There you go. And number two. Great. See, this one is about there. Yes, yeah. I think this just changes this to up to down, which doesn't make a lot of sense. You don't need to change the curse of these if they're going up. Because changing them to go to go down is stupid. It doesn't have any sense. Because you can just drop down and avoid damage by mashing at the A button. Let me see something. I'm pretty close to leveling up, actually. Nah, I'll have more more stuff to fight on the way there. Anyway. Alright then. So now we can start making our way to the top. There's another piston blocking block there. There you go. We're free now. Hopefully I have unlocked all of the pistons. If that is not true, we'll find ourselves on a dead end. But I should do. I should have done that correctly. All right then. Use this piston to get up here. Keep a, we keep climbing around the central cylinder. 
And over here we just swing. Again, do a swing for jumping. Don't jump immediately. Okay, then. Let's just grab that handle. We don't need this piston, actually. It's You're supposed to jump on top of it to grab these, but you can just outright grab them. It's not needed anyway. It's not needed in any way. Let's we'll free that one. I don't know why you should free this, but it's probably meant for later. So this door is closed. Because it's one of the locked doors that we will never be able to open. And then this piston is actually needed. Because you can't grab these from here. You need to get a little bit closer. There we go. And that should do it. We should get very close to the boss room. Nothing on this clock thingy. Alright then. That's cool. Uh, that's where we need to go. So I'll wait for another one of these handles. And hopefully I'll make it. There we go. That's easy. And this is not the top floor, but we're very close to it. And this is the shortcut. So just create that shortcut. All we gotta do... Well, we don't really need to do anything. The shortcut was already here. The only thing that blocked us from using it was this door that was locked. But apart from that, I don't think there's anything hidden here. No, 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 no. It's all, it's all good. All right. There's still a couple of rooms down below that we haven't gone through, and I really need to go through them. Because um, that door leads to the boss, and we'll take it next time. For now. There you go. You're not dead yet. Oh, you'll be. Let's say. Oh. Get down. Oh god, I can't target this head. Oh, that sucks. Single. Don't tell me I cannot target the head. <sighs> you... you gotta try different angles if you can target the right part of the body. Try moving a little bit. I could target it for a second, so it's possible and go. No! For a split second I can. Why? It's not working. I gotta move very slowly. That's not working. Why? There we go. Yes! 50 more flesh. Mmm. No, oh, I need a lot more. And it's possible I almost made it on my practice run. I was short of 50. I was short 50 layers of me to get all three rewards. So. Let's see this guy here. Oh, there's another thing I haven't done. Ah, oh, that's right. I'll kill this guy, run around the room. Yeah, I know what it, I, I know what I have to do. Alright, catch him. Catch him, I said. This is weird. It, it, it's weird because it, it tries to, to bind the arm, which sucks. It shouldn't. Alright, leveled up. Awesome. Give me the meat. That's dripping. It's okay. I think. Okay, there's nothing else around the room? That's okay then. I think, if I remember correctly, over here. No, it's not here then. It's down one level. Yep, this room we haven't been here. There's a Fortifica, which is either defense up or attack up. And this door leads to a dead end with the Shard of Divinity in a chest. Yeah, I remember correctly. Awesome, we might need this. We just might. I saw sparkling. It's a Mercury. Alright then. 
So we'll drop down here. There's one room we haven't checked out yet. I want to check it very quickly. Man, these guys are just... I don't know what they're doing here, but... There's so many of them. Okay, we haven't gone this way yet. This room is filled with dogs. And by now, these guys should be easy to take down. And they can give us good meat. I saw one is down. There he is. No, don't tell me. Go away from here, dude. Go away. I need to target your dead friend. Stop growling, dude. Get out of Get out of there, man. Get out of there. They won't let me. They won't let me. These fuckers won't let me. These fuckers won't let me get the meat from that guy. Pull it away. Come on. No. Not that guy. Come on. There we go. Yes. That's beast flash, but that's okay. They sometimes give dripping, but... Apparently, they are very likely to do that today. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that one's dead. There we go, dripping, see that? Told you they were able to get dripping. So these fireballs can 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 burn you. But they shouldn't be that hard to avoid. Okay, that one's dead. Get me back to the chain. Go beast flash. What can you get from you? Let's see. We're running low on time. And more beast flesh. And some sparkling is over there. Tough belt. Nice. I don't think we'll need that anymore, but you never know. Oh, wait, wait. It's been two weeks since Athosurtus and Tina declared war on the other kingdoms in Imperia. The military top brass have clearly been rattled and have been pushing to boost weapon production. But in fact, the productive power of the towers has declined. The cause is the beast known as the Master. Since they were created, there have been more cases of lump of metals appearing and machines stopping. Employing people to deal with this has led to a real shortage of workers dedicated to making weapons. But nonetheless, the war continues to spread. For our comrades out there on the battlefield, we must do everything we can. Okay, there's another text in this room, I know it. Bodily fluid, copper coins, and what's this? Beast fang. Sparkling over there. A panacea, awesome. Anything up there? No, I know it's over here, right? Yeah, what's that? Tactical manual, awesome. And this is? Iron Glad Master. We have received word from the army's elite concerning the master in the ironclad turret. We acknowledge that its offensive capabilities are superlative, but worry about its self-destructive traits. Please work to improve this. It is vulnerable to buff to its increased temperature when moving and the heat released when it suffers an external attack. Defensive heat release is one thing, but its flaws mean we cannot use it on the battlefield. It is your responsibility to solve these problems. Of course they're ignorant. Do they not know how much we have sacrificed? All they have is statistics. But we must do as they say. But how we can fix these problems? That's the into now to defeat the boss? But let me check my meat situation here. So that's 300. That's 460. But minus 50 because we have to give one to Alina. Which sucks. And leaves us with a little bit more than 400. Unless over here we have some interesting... Yeah, uh, holy crap. Can you see that? Okay, let's see if we can fight some of these guys. You know what? Let me try something. There you go. Oh, it's attack down. Oh, that, we, we're gonna take less damage. Almost nothing from these little guys. Let's... I, might be useful. So we killed this little one. But... Uh, we're so close to the beginning, by the way. Come on, finish pulling the chain. Did we kill it? How did we not kill this guy? I get it if it was the other one, but this was still alive. How come? There we go. Okay, that's dripping. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I 
And the tactical manual that we picked up here, it just basically gives you a boost on your experience points. We're gonna use that next time. We should be fine. We just barely passed the elf mark. Yes, we're fine. If Elena transformed, you would be able to tell. I don't know if I said that already, but you can tell by the affinity gods. It it, it becomes purple. But that didn't happen. So we're fine. So Elena wrote something. You're not hurt. A little bit hurt. But I'm fine, I'm fine. Not dead. From the roof. Such a beautiful view. Can I make out Aaron? There's a bird nest. It sleeps here at night. I don't want to scare it away. Yeah, that basically gives you the hint that there are birds up there at night. And they're an unreadable old text. Speaking of birds, we should pay a visit to them. Hello, birds. What do you have for me today? More dried berry. I'll gladly take it. Alright, let's wrap things up with our usual chit chat with Alina and Mafda. I'll see what's what. Where is she? There she is. I finished translating that text you gave me, Aaron. Okay, we go Vessel Testament 4 and the 12 Laws. We got a quest translation of more stuff. Let's see, life in Alina's village. Everyone kept their distance when you first came to our village, Aaron. To them, you were just an enemy, and an enemy soldier at that. Everyone had been affected by the war. But my father had once been rescued by a certain soldier. That experience taught him that words like foreigner and enemy are meaningless. We are all human. That's what's important. How did that not give affinity? Oh well. I wonder how your mother's doing. This must be quite an old building. The 13 towers were an army facility as well, right? They feel that way inside. Kind of. Alright, that's it. So let's give her dripping flesh. Thank you, um, I think I'm starting to get used to this. Right. So, actually, I'll I'll sleep before doing anything else. Sleep until she awakes. It's always the same cutscene, so I'm just gonna skip it. I don't know why you repeat so many times, but that's just how it is. Yeah, I've got a few flesh going spare, and we missed our three rewards by f by f forty liers, which sucks. Well, we got certain carpet and skill band. Not bad. What are you gonna give me? How much? That's a lot. Okay. What do you? What do I need? I need to buy maybe. But I don't think there's anything interesting here for me. I think I'm good, map though. So closing up the episode by giving them some gift to Alina. Yeah, it's a little bit. That noise in the night. Wake me up this time, don't worry about what's that behind you. Okay, this is definitely gonna drop my affinity. I think wake me up next time. Really? I'm sure it's nothing. But I'm just scared. I thought it was just the two of us here. Alright. What kind then. of place do you think this other world is, Aaron? The bottom of the scar is pitch black. Does that mean the other world is dark as well? Or maybe it's a beautiful place. Full of flowers and blue. I don't know. Well, let's start giving some gifts here. Well, first of all, ah, sorry, wrong button. So first of all, we have the certain carpet, which we got from the meat rewards. It's actually a pretty good gift. Oh, is this is this one of those famous certain carpets, Aaron? I heard that certain carpets were round with this kind of pattern, and the texture. Oh. It's simply wonderful. 
I never thought I'd see such a lovely thing in a place like this. Thank you, Aaron. Now, where should I put it? I don't know if she can already put it down. If you and I are able to live together happily, why can't Okay, we're already seeing this. I'm taking care of the Care of this place, blah blah blah. Is everything all Okay, that's it. I don't think I really have anything else to give you uh, apart from the dry berries. Hmm, dry berry, dry berry, where is it? Is this yes, Aaron? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, she will put the, the over here where I'm standing and go, let me, let me just rest one hour. Just see if that, no, that doesn't do it. Oh, well, we're just going to see it maybe next time. So, next time on Pandora's Tower, we'll head to the top of the Iron Claw Tower and defeat the fifth master. See you guys then.